Oh my gosh. It's terrifying. This is the largest laser that Trump has ever produced in the United States. It's eight foot wide by 26 foot long. If you can imagine, you can make a laser cut part that's accurate within a hair that's 26 foot long. The big thing with Trump is that we have all of this space to cut, but they don't sacrifice any cutting speed. When you look at this machine, this is the same exact technology they're using to shoot down drones or missiles over war zones. So we've talked about it enough, let's see it in action. It's all fiber lasers, it goes into a fiber optic cable and then it's fired out the nozzle. And the big difference between fiber optic and the old CO2s is now once the laser goes into the fiber optic cable, they can bend that cable, you can move the machine very quickly. On the old CO2 lasers, you'd have to bounce the beam through different mirrors all the way to the cutting head. And you could only move so fast and you had issues with calibration on different sizes. Did we have buyer's remorse? On this machine, absolutely not. We kept having packages that we'd miss the whole package of parts because they were just over 10 foot. So then we went and we got a six foot by 12 foot laser. And then we missed a whole another set of packages that was, you know, 15 foot long. So we said, forget it. We're gonna buy the biggest laser there is. This one is eight foot by 26 foot. We have parts that we're cutting now that are 25 foot long and we're cutting them in one out of one piece of sheet. Once we went to fiber laser, nobody really knows where the limit is. So it's constantly changing. So right now you have German lasers like this, you have Japanese lasers, you have Chinese lasers, Taiwanese lasers, you have American lasers. We've gone with Trump on this laser because of their proven speed, cut quality, and reliability. Even though it's so big, it can still produce and cut at the same rate as a smaller machine. So this is the cutting head for the laser. This is an eight kilowatt laser. So this is actually where all the cutting happens. There's the nozzle. So the big yellow one, this is actually a fiber optic cable carrying 8,000 watts of energy. You also have communication cables and you have gas cables. So into the laser head, they pump nitrogen to keep the lenses clean and cool to keep them from overheating. And then that way, any spatter or anything that might want to come back up or even just dust in the air is kept off the lens. So in all fiber optic lasers, you have what they call head gas. It keeps the lens clean. And then you also have assist gas, which actually helps with the cutting of the material. And right here, this is actually, this is your calibration laser. So this is for aligning your program to the sheet. One of the things that amazes me about fiber lasers is that we can cut huge, massive parts that are 25 foot long, or we can cut little tiny, this is just a square washer. The variety of parts and materials that lasers can process is absolutely incredible carbon steel, stainless steel, copper, aluminum, bronze, titanium. It goes on and on. Cold rolled, hot rolled. There's a huge variety of parts and applications that lasers are used for. The wild thing is if you are somehow able to bypass the safety and you cut that fiber optic cable, you could sign your name on the wall of the building or cut through the roof. Another thing about fiber lasers is when you're cutting with them, they need to be in a sealed environment because they have a nasty habit to bounce. It can actually bounce off different surfaces. So all the fiber lasers need to be in an enclosure. That beam cannot get out. The future of American manufacturing definitely involves lasers. Lasers, while they may be a huge upfront investment, we can now manufacture parts within a hair tolerance. We can add holes that used to be a machining operation. You can make assemblies that used to never be possible. They are absolutely worth the investment. So take a look at your parts. If they can be transitioned from plasma or oxy to laser, you'll see a huge jump in quality and a decrease in price. You'll never go back. Thank you for watching this episode and let's make America manufacture again.